everyone knew that it was my first acting debut and like people were giving me tips and pointers and yeah, it just felt like a, it was such a vibe. It's a coming of age story for our generation. The film's a multi-generational love story. My name is Amel Asan Amin. I am the role of the director, the role of the writer, uh, the role of Melvin, and the role of the producer, and the role of Leanne's friend. Hi, I'm Leanne Pinnock, and my role is Georgia, and friend of Amel. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Asia Naomi King, and I play Lisa in the upcoming film Boxing Day. George, George, Georgia. Georgia. I feel like, well, when I first read about her, um, I felt like she really resonated with me. Obviously pop star, down to earth, emotional. And I was just like, okay, I feel like I'm kind of made to play this character. Um, and yeah, Georgia obviously plays um, Amel's ex-girlfriend and he comes back with his new girlfriend. And fiance. Fiance, I should say. Yeah. It's kind of like a love, triangle, like who's he gonna go for, who's he gonna choose? Yes, Melvin McKenzie is a writer that fled London for greater pastures in Los Angeles, but he also fled when his parents got divorced. You know, he's got a very big heart, but because of the, the, the traumatic thing that happened in his family, he's a bit of a bottler, he's a bit of a runner. And what happens is he discovers when he comes back, what happens when you don't deal with stuff. Lisa is an incredible black woman who is working out of a casting office. She has an amazing career. Um, she's found the love of her life and she's excited to, well, she's convinced him to, for her to go with him to London to meet his family. Lisa has some secrets that, uh, that she needs to share so that this, uh, this romance can continue on its way. The power of nostalgia, the power of something being linked to a particular time mm. in, in your life, a particular moment, and actually how idyllic we make that sometimes versus a, a reality of a, of a relationship that's also great. What do you think? <laughs> it's a coming of age story for our generation. The film's a multi-generational love story. Mm. At the top of it end, you've got Marianne, uh, who plays my mum, discovering love after a divorce. Discovering love at that age is so important. And then, you know, Josh with the infatuation of first love. Mm -hmm. And that was really important for me to really footnote, ha have everybody in the film from each generation. It was so great. I mean, like, working with Leanne was amazing. She was just so phenomenal. Um, I was so excited once I heard that Marianne Jean-Baptiste was in the movie as well. And then Amel, of course, I was really impressed with him. Like, I was like, okay, you wrote this. You also, you're gonna direct it and you're gonna star in it. Being on set and it feeling like family. I felt like in such good hands. Like everyone was just so lovely and accommodating and just, obviously there to support me as well. Everyone knew that it was my first acting debut and like people were giving me tips and pointers and yeah, it just felt like, a, it was such a vibe. It was a family, it felt like a party, didn't it? It was a party. It was, it was so nice. Plus I was DJing, so. Plus definitely. he was constantly DJing. Like literally every day it was a party. It was like, oh, okay, a male's coming because I, I hear music. Love Actually, I really loved that film as a British, as a British um, comedy. And then I really like this film called Philadelphia Story, which is a 1944 classic um, with um, Catherine Hepburn, Jimmy Stewart, Cary Grant, and the dialogue, the way the dialogue's very punchy. And that's why I really wanted for Boxing Day for the dialogue to drive the film, in particular certain characters. So that's why Tamara Lawrence, who's exceptional in the movie, is like, bat, 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 you know? So those are a lot of the films that inspired the uh, me. It was based on a lot of my family's experience, and it's based on my family's experience because I find them totally fascinating. You know, you've got, I'm half Jamaican, half Vincentian, you've got the small island conversation and the big island talk and the back and forth. At Christmas time, it's like all the gossip comes out. What happens is I go home to Christmas every year and I realize I'm the wealthiest person when I'm with them. Like, it doesn't matter what I've achieved in my life and career, 
just going home, shutting the doors and actually being with my family, I'm like, this, I just feel so wealthy and really lucky to have such an amazing family.